Welcome back to another Telltale Books video. I'm Greg, and I'm going to continue my Stephen King series with yet another story from my copy of Night Shift. And this one is one that was made into a movie. I've never seen the movie, so I don't know how good it is. Um, but the title is Sometimes They Come Back. So I think because it was made into a movie, this is one of King's better known stories. Um, this was number 26 in my Stephen King bibliography, accurate or not. It was, of course, published in Cavalier magazine where he was publishing everything else during these years. Got published in the March 1974 issue. What is Sometimes They Come Back about? Well... A teacher has two kids from his youth start to haunt him. A lot of King's early stories, I feel, are kind of homages to the horror stories he read when he was young that he loved so much. And so he did his version of it. He did his version of the vampire story in Salem's Lot. He did his version of the... Of the haunted house story in in the shining um a lot of his other early short stories are kind of lovecraftian or or reminiscent of richard matheson this story sometimes they come back i feel takes somewhat of a new direction because what really made king different when he started to hit his stride is his ability to take common things from our real lives, from our real world, things that are familiar to us, and turn them into a horror story. You know, he take he he ties his horror into everyday life of late twentieth century, and that's what he does in this particular story you know in this one the main character has kids from when he was young who had bullied him and those bullies haunt him in through his adult life except in the story of course they really haunt him <laughs> they actually do haunt him and so the creepiness of the story comes from part of the of real life experience and part of supernatural imagination and so it puts his horror closer to our own real lives touches on things that we all have experienced and felt and that makes this story very powerful like i say i haven't seen the movie i don't know the movie might be crap but this story really blew me away this gets a top tale Sometimes They Come Back is one of the best Stephen King stories I've read. And so I definitely recommend that anybody who loves horror, anybody who loves Stephen King, of course, should make sure they've read this story. And that's, I'm going to stop at, at that. I'm not going to say too much about the story. I think you should read it and experience it. It's really good. And I can't do it justice in what I'm saying here, except to say, try it, read it. Um, I loved it. You might. You might hate it. I don't know. But I think you might love it. And it's, in, it's interesting, this approach to tying the horror into real life type events from everybody's life. Because the next work in King's bibliography after sometimes they come back is the novel Carrie which I imagine was mostly written at the time this story was sometimes they come back got, got published but the next work to be released onto the world was the novel Carrie which I have already done a video review if you go to my Stephen King playlist you can look that one up and and see a review of what I felt of what I thought of the the novel Carrie as well as all the past Stephen King reviews I've done I've done quite a few this is um what I say this is his 
26 in my bibliography, but I've also done, I've done Salem's Lot already. I've done The Shining already. I've done Duma Key already. I've done his latest collection. Of course, recently I've done all those stories. So I've done a lot more than just the first 26 stories. And so Carrie would be number 27. And so the next video I'm going to do in my Stephen King series, number 28 in the bibliography is going to be Night Surf, which again comes from Night Shift. So have you read Sometimes They Come Back? Leave your comments about the story, about Stephen King, about things going on in King's life at this time, or comments about what I mentioned about the combination of horror with real life or or the novel carry any comments like that feel free to leave those in the comments section for everyone to see other comments will be deleted if they're off topic and i hope you'll come back for my video on night surf and all the other stephen king and all the other videos that i do all the other reviews that i do and topics that me and emily do and uh until then, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I hope you'll watch, hope you'll join me for that next video.